Hi guys, I'm Sham from websitelearners.com. Today I'm going to show you how you can create an e-commerce website from start to finish, okay? So first let's see the website we are going to build. So here it is. After watching this video, you'll be able to make a website which has products like these. And then we are going to create pages like these. And people will be able to add your products to their carts. And they'll be able to pay you through your website and buy products from your site. So let's get started. It's going to be very simple. We are going to make our e-commerce site in four parts. The first part is to launch your website. Now this is where we get a new website live on the internet. So to launch your website, we are going to do three steps. The first step is to choose your website name. Now to choose your name, just click the link below this video. So I'm going to click this link and it'll take you to this page. Now enter the name you want in this box. So I'm going to enter tryshirts.com and click check availability. So now you can see that this name is available. So once you get your name, you can go to the next step, which is to get your hosting and domain. So hosting is the place where your website's files are stored and domain is your website's name. So to get your hosting and this domain name, just scroll down this page and click get hosting. Now it'll take you to this page where we are going to get our hosting and domain. So to get it, just click get started. Now enter the same name which you selected before. And click search. Then click select and continue. Now to get this domain and hosting, we need to create a new account. So let's click here. And then fill up these details. And click create account. Now here you can see that we are getting our domain, which is trishirts.com and our hosting. Now both of these are going to be valid for one year, which means once you place this order, your website will be live on the internet for the next one year. So now let's go ahead and make the payment. Just choose your payment method. Enter your details. And then make the payment. So now we have successfully made the payment and we have got our domain and hosting. So once you've got your domain and hosting, we can now go to the final step of launching your website, which is to install WordPress. Now WordPress is the tool we are going to use to build our e-commerce website. WordPress lets you build websites easily without any coding or programming. So let's see how to install WordPress. To install WordPress, all you have to do is click add site. Then enter a username and password for WordPress and click add. And now WordPress will be installed on your new domain, which is tryshirts.com. Okay, so WordPress is now installed and this means your website will now be live on the internet. So to check it, let's go to our website. We'll open a new tab. Now if we type tryshirts.com, and press enter. You can see that we have a brand new website on the name which we selected. So this is how you can launch your website on the internet. So once you have launched your website, we can now go to part two of this tutorial, which is to start building your e-commerce site. Now, instead of building your e-commerce site from scratch, we are going to first import a sample e-commerce site. And then we are going to edit it to make our own site. So this is going to really speed up the process and will let you build your site in a much faster way. So to import the sample site, we are going to do two steps. First, we're going to log into our website. So to log into your site, all you have to do is type slash login after your site's address. Now press enter and it will take you to the login page of your website. 
Now enter the login details which you selected for WordPress. And then click login. So now we have successfully logged in to our WordPress site. So this is the place where you can control your website. So once you have logged in, we can now go to step two of importing the sample site, which is to install a theme in WordPress. So we are going to install a theme called Astra, which is going to let us import the sample site. So to install the theme, just go to appearance and click themes. Now click add new theme. And then search for a theme called Astra. Now this is the theme which is going to let us import the sample site. So to install the theme, just click install. And then activate the theme. So now we have installed the Astra theme. Next, to import the sample site, just click Astra options. And here you can see that we have an option called import starter site. So to import the site, first click install importer. And then click see library. Now once you're on this page, just select Elementor, which will make it easier for you to edit your site in future. So we'll select that. And now as we are going to build an e-commerce site, just click e-commerce. And then choose this site called the brand store. So let's click here. And here you can see a preview of how your site is going to look once you import the sample site. So to import this site into your site, just click install plugins. And click import the site. So now the sample site has been imported. So let's see how our site looks. Now if we go to this tab, you can see that this is how our site was before. It was completely empty. Now if you click refresh, you can see that we have got the entire e-commerce site into our site. Now this is a fully working e-commerce site, which means if you click on a product here, you can see the details about the product and you can add it to cart. And then we can view the cart. And then we can also proceed to checkout. So we get all of these options right after we import the sample site. So now we have successfully imported our sample e-commerce site. Okay, so once you have imported the sample site, we can now go to part three, where we see how you can start using this e-commerce site. So to start using our e-commerce site, we are going to first set up our store. Now store is the place where your customers can see your products and then purchase them. So once you set up your store, your site will have your own products and your visitors will be able to buy those products. So let's go to our store. And you can see that we have these sample products. Now to set up our store, we are going to do four steps. The first step is to delete all of these sample products. So to delete them, let's go to our dashboard. and then click products. And here you can see all the sample products which we have here. Now to delete the sample products, just click here to select all the products and then click here. Select move to trash and click apply. So now we have deleted all the sample products. So now if we go to our store and click refresh, 
you can see that all the products have been removed. Once you have removed all the sample products, next let's see how you can add your own product. Now to add your own product, just go back to your products page and click add new. Now to add a new product, all you have to do is enter the product name, its price, and some details about the product. So first let's enter the product name. I want to sell a t-shirt, so I'm going to enter that. And here I'm going to enter the price. And then some details about the product. Okay, so once you have added these details, you can now add your product image. So to add the image, just click set product image. And then drag and drop your image from your computer. And as you can see, your image has been added. So now we have added all the details about the product. So let's click publish. And now if we click our store page, you can see that we have our product. Now if we click on this product, you can see that we can now add this product to our cart. So now we have successfully added our product. So you can add any number of products you want in the same way. So to add a product, all you have to do is just go to products and click add new, okay? So next let's go to the third step of setting up our store, which is to change our currency. Now here you can see that we have a different currency. Now to change this currency to rupee, just go to your dashboard and then go to WooCommerce and click settings. Now this is where you can change all the settings related to your store. Now to change your currency, just scroll down this page and here you will find the currency option. Now to change this to rupee, just click here and then type India and select this option. Now click save changes. And now if we go to our product page and click refresh, you can see that our product price is now shown in rupees. So now we have successfully changed our currency. And we have completed the third step of setting up our store. So next, let's go to the fourth step, which is to set up our payment method. Now, if we try to buy this product by clicking add to cart, and then click proceed to checkout, you can see that it says no payment methods are available. So in order to allow your customers to pay for your products, you need to set up your payment method. So to set it up, we are going to create a free account on a website called Instamojo. So once you create this account, you'll be able to receive payments directly to your bank account when someone purchases your product. So to create your account, just go back to Website Learners and then scroll down to step four and click Create Free Account. And it'll take you to this page. Now just click Sign Up. and then enter your email and password and click sign up. Now choose the type of business you have and select no here and click next. Now once you reach here, you need to enter your bank details where you want to receive your payments. So you need to enter your bank's account number and then click find IFSC. Now select your bank details. And click use. So now when someone buys a product from your site, that money will be sent to this account. So once you have entered these details, just click create account. And now we have successfully created our Instamojo account. And now your customers can use any of these payment methods to pay for your products. So let's click go to dashboard. 
Now, how do we connect this account with our website? Now, to let customers make payments on your site, you need to connect this account with your website. So, to connect it, let's go to our WordPress dashboard and then go to plugins and click add new. And now we need to install the InstaMojo plugin on our website. So, just search for InstaMojo. and you'll get this plugin. Now to install it, just click install and click activate. So now we have installed the InstaMojo plugin on our website. Now to connect this account with your site, just click settings and now you need to get these details from InstaMojo. So to get these details, just go here and click API and plugins and click create new credentials. Now click here and select WordPress from this list. Then click generate credentials and InstaMojo will give you these details. Now all you have to do is copy these details and then paste it here. So let's copy and then paste it. And click Save Changes. Now, as soon as you click Save Changes, your InstaMojo account will be connected with your website. So this means our payment setup is now complete. So we have successfully set up our payment method and now your customers can not only view your products, they can now buy them. So next, let's try buying a product from our site. So just like a customer would do, we'll go to our store and then add the product to our cart. Now let's click view cart and click proceed to checkout. You can see that instead of the error message, we can now pay online. So just like a customer would do, if we enter our details and click place order, you can see that we have different options to make payments. So let's say the customer wants to pay with their debit card. They can click here and then enter the details and click pay. Now if we enter the OTP and click submit, You can see that the payment has been made and we have ordered the product. Okay, so this is how a customer can buy a product from your site. So now you know how your customers can buy products from your site. Now what happens when someone orders your product? How do you know that you have got an order? Now as soon as someone buys a product from your site, if you go to your inbox, now this is the inbox of the email you entered while creating your site. Now once you go to your inbox, you can see that we have received two emails. The first email is from our WordPress website and the second one is from InstaMojo. So if we open the first email from WordPress, you can see that we have all the details about the order. So we have the name of the product which the customer has ordered and their address. Now if we go back and open the second mail, You can see that InstaMojo confirms that we have received the payment. So this is how you can know when someone orders your product. And once you get this email, you can go ahead and deliver the product to your customer. So now you know how you can track new orders placed on your site. But what about your customer? How can they view and track their order? So next let's see how your customer can view their order after making a purchase. So let's go to the customer's inbox. So this is the customer's inbox. Now, once a customer has ordered a product from your site, their account will be automatically created. And now if the customer goes to their inbox, they'll get one email with the order details and another email with the details of their account. So if you open this email, here you can see that the customer has got the password which they can use to log into your site. So after placing an order, if the customer wishes to log in back to your site, all they have to do is go to your site 
and click account. And now they'll be able to log in back to your site. So they need to just enter their email and the password which they received in their email. So let's go back to the inbox and then copy this password and paste it here. And now if they click login, you can see that the customer can view all of their orders they have placed on your site. And now if we go to addresses, they can even update their address. So this is how your customers can view their orders on your site. Now let's go back to our store. Okay, so now we have successfully completed setting up our store. And this means anyone who is visiting your site will now be able to buy your products. So next, let's go to the final part of building our e-commerce site where we see how you can change the look of your website. So next, we are going to see how you can change four different places of your site. So let's go to our homepage. So first, let's see how you can edit the contents of your pages. Now, let's say you want to change this text. How do we do that? Now to edit any page of your site, just make sure you're on that page and click edit with Elementor. And now it'll take you to this editing section. Now let's say you want to change this text. All you have to do is just select that text and then start typing anything you want. So I'm going to type get the best products from our store. Next, if you want to change the text on this button, you just select that text and then enter your own text. So the same way you can edit any text you want on this page. Just select the text and then start typing. Next, let's say you want to change this image. To change the image, all you have to do is just click here. Then make sure you're on the style tab. Now select the image you want to change and then drag and drop your image. And as you can see, the image has been changed. Now once you're done with all the changes, just click update. And now if we go to our site and click refresh, You can see that all the changes are here. So this is how you can edit any page of your website. So next, what if you want to show your products on your homepage? Now, if you scroll down to this products area, you can see that we have no products here. So next, let's see how you can add products like this to your homepage. Now to add products to your homepage, all you have to do is just go to your dashboard, then go to products. And here you can see all the products you have added to your site. Now to display any of these products on your homepage, all you have to do is click the star button next to your product. So I'm gonna select these products. And now if we go to our site and click refresh, You can see that the products we selected now appears on our homepage. So this is how you can add your products to your homepage. So next, let's see how you can change your logo. Now to change this logo, just click customize. And you'll find these blue icons next to the items you can change. Now to change this logo, all you have to do is click this blue icon next to it and you can change your logo here. Now, if you want to have your logo in text, you can remove this image by clicking here and then show your site name by selecting this option. And now we can see that we have got our site name instead of the default logo, which was there before. So this is how you can change your logo. So next, let's see how you can change your menu.
Now to change your menu, all you have to do is just click here and then click edit menu. Now once you're here, if you want to remove any page from your menu, just click here and click remove. And the page will be removed from your menu. Now you can also rearrange this menu as you want and it will be changed here. So this is how you can change the menu on your website. So once you're done, just click publish and then click here to see your site. So you can see that all the changes we made now appears on our site. So this is how you can change the look of your website. So now we have a complete e-commerce site which we made in just a few minutes. So to make your e-commerce site, all you have to do is first launch your site by getting your domain and hosting and then import the sample e-commerce site, then set up your store and then finally change the look of your website. So that's it guys, this is how you can build your e-commerce site in just a few minutes. Now if you're ready to start making your own website, just click here and it'll take you to the page which we saw in the first step, which is choosing your website name. So just choose your website name and then build your website. After you've built your website, make sure you share that link in the comments section and we'll pick our favorite websites and we'll highlight it at the top of the comments. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.